who wins this New York or Philadelphia? Just a good reminder to say no to rage. Hit them with that peakapplaud.net action slash say no to rage. It helps our boy PK Sparks gets a little money in his pocket and you know it helps spread the brand. You know what I mean? Because you know, P hey, PK Sparks is a good dude and we want to see more of him at the laboratory and we certainly thank him for his contributions not only to the community but to brotherly love the end tonight. So go show your appreciation over at PK. I, I, I want you to know I didn't tell him to say that. <laughs> No, 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 dude, this is this is from the heart, brother. This is brotherly love, homie. Come on, yo, pound it. There you go, B. No, it's not. It's not about the money. It's about the heart. It's about the soul, and that's what PK Sparks is all about, man. I'm, I'm just. He showed that heart. He's like Meek Mill. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all thought he was finished? Come on, B. I, I, I don't like the spotlight. Stop. <laughs> You've been sitting on stream for an hour, but folks, if you really, if you want to see people that do like the spotlight, that relish in it, then you're gonna to want to see them compete at Super Smash Brothers at Summer Jam, presented by Big E Gaming, and it's gonna be happening now at the Crown Royal in. Uh, no, the Royal Hotel. Crown Royal Hotel. There you go. I had to get it eventually. Over yeah. in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Shout out to our uh, NJ audience. We're going to be seeing you August 31st through September 2nd. Go ahead and hit smash.gg slash tournament slash summer hyphen jam hyphen 12. And you can, you bet, your bottom dollar that you're going to be seeing that here on twitch.tv slash bros underscore calamity. Hit him with that social media goodness. Oh, wait, before that, actually, you know what? We'll see. We'll be seeing you at Radiance, our good friends. Over in Jersey, yo! Shout outs to Blue and his crew. Got a lo got much love in hand. Uh, got much love here in Philadelphia for his crew. Woodbridge, New Jersey, July 14th at the club at Woodbridge. That's where they're holding Radiance. They're gonna have tournaments for Smash on Wii U and Smash Brothers Melee. Shout outs to our Melee crowd. Hey, if you like Melee, come down to the laboratory Tuesday nights for Salt, the 143rd edition. This Tuesday, you're not gonna want to miss it. But yeah, Smash, uh, Smash 4, Smash Melee at Radiance in Woodbridge, New Jersey. And don't forget, you can also follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit them with that social media goodness, Summer Hayes. We can do that, okay, you're right, you're right. we can do that later. We can do that later, but folks, I mean, just so many people that we need to thank before we get, to, before we get going on this. Obviously, PK, PK Sparks for coming out. Obviously, oh. <laughs> obviously, Evan, my boy Evan, doing an amazing job on commentary. And, of course, all the people who have worked here behind the desk today, including Luck, including Deli, including BDB, uh, Summer Hayes, who's been running the booth for the past hour now, and, of course, the person that put all of this together, Mr. Jay Moosh. Hey, that man's a good man out there. I don't know why his, uh, Summer Hayes got to put the spot on me trying to find a train ride back home. I look up, and I'm starting looking down. I'm looking all professional now. Dude, if you need a ride home, I got you. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying. I'm trying to figure things out. We'll we'll talk. We'll talk. Absolutely, but folks, let's just uh, provide a little bit of context. Not just a New York versus Philadelphia rivalry, just as old as America itself, but also after four long years of traveling throughout this uh, road that we call Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, we have finally reached the end. Jen, the invader from New York, looking to steal the spotlight, and the last person defending the honor of Philadelphia is the former number one, now number two, the best Sonic in North America, 6WX. It's your main event at Friend Hatboro. We're gonna send it back to EOK Let's and PJ Sparks. You say PJ Sparks? When you say e -okay, I said PK. It's yeah, okay. I said PK. Yeah, okay. Now I still, I, I almost said EOJ is what I did. Man. You did okay, that as good. well. It's all good. We gonna run you sure about that, <laughs> though? You sure about that? Yo. Regardless, the the hype is definitely there. Here with Gay OK and PK Sparks, you guys are seeing, well, the defense of Philadelphia at the end of Brotherly Love. Jen, the uh, the invited invader, the outsider from New York with the New York crew in the chat as well. You guys are hy hyping your boy up. But, I mean, you guys think Florida clouds are tough? Wait until Philly really gets out there and start hyping things up. Yo, Luck. Hey, yo, Luck. I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I need you to go hype up Philly. Make New York feel unwelcome. Philly, stay hype, B. Let's go. Huh? Right back in the chat. Just let it. I mean, you. But I mean, he's doing the mic thing. I just need some hype out there from Philly. Game one. Cut All right, let's down. go. Grand finals, Six baby. W Here we go. Grand finals, and it's kicking right off again with the immediate switch to Bayonetta. Did not see that coming, especially with all them hands he was throwing. I was trying to throw them feet, bro. 
I find it to be weird that he's going to Bayonetta because we saw that 630X knows how to deal with this character. So why does he feel it's a good option to go? Maybe he really dislikes Ryu. Maybe he just really likes DLC. I don't know, man. I would say. Ooh, oh my God! That was close. Oh my God! <laughs> that was the weirdest clip. The one time when Sharking goes against you. That was fantastic. I don't feel bad at all. I yeah. watched it again. Someone <laughs> clip that. Clip it. Tweet tweeted at me. I need it. That is just great. I actually get staged by, by a get-up attack from the ledge. Sonic taking that first early stock here from Gen. <clears throat> nothing uh, nothing is going to be worse. It's also hit the taunt right after it. So Sonic better hope not to get bodied after it. So let's see. 6WX immediately starting off game one of this set. In rare form here. Is that what yeah, 6WX is having no... Uh, that, 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 you can tell that wasn't prepared. Like, there's yeah, no way not. he knew that was going to happen. No but at way. the same time... We take those. We definitely take those. But uh, 6WX starting it off immediately. I feel like Gen would have definitely switched to Bayon. Ooh. Don't want his fake, bro. Don't run my fade, baby. Oh, another back air? Can we get another one? He went for we it. Nope. It's the shark bait. We're just under one minute. The first game is over. 6WX from the winner's side takes the first game over Gen. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you're doing this backwards. Like, normally if you're in winner's finals, you'll try things out. You know, you'll test the waters. I feel but like maybe he's and mind you, he's playing Sonic. Sonic can't swim. He's not testing any water. Yeah, he definitely can't. So, he, and so, he needs them bubbles when he gets to the bottom. Are you right? <laughs> Hydro City hype. Uh. Hydrocity is amazing. I don't know if it's Hydro City or Hydrocity. I say both. Uh, I'm cool with either one. Kind of interchangeable, honestly. Yeah, I think yeah, Gen actually of. probably just needed a change the music of pace. Is hype, no matter what. I mean, keep in mind, Sonic did just get done. He probably did just get run watching from the sidelines. A really tense match between, you know, ZSS. He, he's, he could get burnt out playing the same character back to back. So, again, using that character swap, going right over to Bayonetta. Not getting any much, you know, very much change in the beginning of game one. But now he might be able to put a little bit of gas, throwing in the gear two for game two. Not just burned out from the first match, but sometimes when you get in such a situation where your mindset was so focused on that match, having to change gears so quickly. I mean, mind you, we gave the players a break. I mean, we were shouting out the shirt, say no to rage, you know what I mean? But still, we, um, that can still mean that you can't adjust so quickly. He is coming off a win, but his mentality was against uh, another player, another character, Zero Suit Samus. Right. So changing characters in grand finals where he has to win two sets in a row, sometimes mentally you just can't run through that. Yeah, it is going to be an uphill battle for sure, PK. Um, and bat within is, you know, it's always good to have uh, that Bayonetta gimmick in your back pocket. You know what I mean? Definitely Ooh, enough. And that's going to clip his jump. Can he capitalize on it? Does not. But that's okay. Again, back on stage with a good amount of damage. Bayonetta huh? with the rage. Sonic hitting that last hit of the up Did smash. And Sharks in the platform from the bottom. Okay, does, that first stop. does the last hit hitbox of up Another smash escape. extend Ooh. itself? Ooh. Wow. As you put her foot down on, boys, like, yo, these size 32s, boy, you don't get down there with the spike. Okay, wait, you don't just put a woman's foot size out there like hey, that. Hey, man. What's wrong with you? She put her, her foot Privacy. size, she put her foot size, her toes, the whole pedicure in his face. Talk about a car, them. talk about a car. Some rich dudes pay right? good money for that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Stop that. Stop. Kids hey, are watching. He said, yo, I think you know how to talk to a lady. Oh, and an SD right back. I feel like what he was doing was going for the um the spin dash jump uh. to get to the other side and just completely missed on the input. That's brave. Like, that's the only thing I can think of because he definitely should have upbeat sooner. I, that's I don't. Brave. So I mean, it, almost the first two games are really high octane, living up to Sonic's play style, just yeah. making it really fast. Absolutely. But that second game, you could tell, was definitely more of a mistake from. Um, from 6WX than yeah. anything. Quality situation. It, I mean, it just one bad turn deserves another. And I guess mentally, both of them are probably going to be in the same space. I mean, as far as uh, mental stamina is going to go, though, 6WX definitely does have a little bit less pressure to work from until Gen starts getting a couple more games under his belt. He really doesn't have to worry about a run back right now. I mean, 6WX in grand finals does have a whole nother set to pull from in the event that he gets reset. But the last thing that you want to do is give your opponent momentum. Absolutely. You're right. So, I mean, I, I would rather really cure it out now then allow them to adjust because especially in 6ws case i mean i heard that he may have a coin but and did you i see mean he's just, known for sonic true and did you see that just now see uh pk see that's what i was talking about in rco lag when getting that uses an excess of uh specials in the air don't forget that she does land a lot harder so certain lag that she would have gotten from landing initially is going to carry over and that's what rco Ooh. lag means it's it's uh i forget what the r stands for but it's carryover lag huh 
Right. So the only way she can usually negate that is by landing on the edge. Um, uh, if it's landing on the edge to uh, the, the sides. And someone in the chat actually, uh, you know, fact, that, fact check that for me. I feel like there's only one other way to carry it. Right. Side B is coming through. Sana getting carried up into the air, but not able to be uh, knocked out completely. And what, you know, Sonic, that's, I, I like that. He's been waiting for the air dodge and hasn't been doing it. Now he's just actively going for it. He says, all right, Jen is not really um, air dodging when I want him to, so I'm going to control the flow of this battle. Yeah, and that is definitely what he's doing. Also, I feel like 6WX does need to be really, really careful when he's uh, recovering here against Gen. Because with, uh, or Jen, sorry. With Jen, he really does need to be uh, aware of the bullet. What is the bullet? What is that bullet move again called? Um, bullet arts. Yeah, bullet arts. He's gonna need to be aware of that as well as Nair because expending that last jump after that side B could actually spell doom if he doesn't have that spring ride handy. Missing the timing on the up tilt, causing him to get caught by Sonic's homing attack. Right now we have 152 trading in the air. What? Unfortunately, one had more time to get the wind up. The pitch goes in 6 his favor, okay. but he quickly returns with a home run of his own. It's the same inning. You can't score your opponent's inning. I was actually surprised that Sonic won that trade. Uh, to be honest with you, um, yeah, I was just sitting there. I'm, I mean, she got like these 12 inch stiletto heels and she just put that right to his face. He closed it right back though. 38% on Jen and 10% on 6WX. 6WX is in the winner's side for those of you watching at home. So that means Jen has to win two sets. Curly won one, trying yes, to jump over the side B of Bayonetta and gets caught by the last bullet art. Mm. All right, again, kind of in a, a, in a poor position if, you know, it's hot. Town of City has such low ceilings, and 6WX is doing such a good job of just really, really playing around Ken's dashes and uh, his his uh, approaches here. And at this point, he's got him with the oh, grab, back, back throw. throw. That might be all she wrote. Has low ceilings, not low walls. Oh, oh my God! Drop zone back air. That was a that low up. drop kick, though. Dude! Drop zone back air. Do you know what I hate about Sonic? He's, like, always taunting. That was almost too easy. Yeah, Come for on, sure. man. That's grand fun. At the same time, though, uh, New York is free. Huh? Who said that? Yeah. He's a hedgehog with attitude. What do you want? Yeah, as long as he doesn't mess it around with none of them chili dogs, man, because he's definitely going to have to go to the bathroom on it because that toilet table. I mean, you don't know his tolerance. Hey, man. Don't judge that hedgehog. I'm just, I'm just giving guff to the uh, the New York folks in the chat. I love you guys. No no real malice. Believe that. But we're moving on to the, um, the game four. This is tournament points for 6WX. One more win, and he is going to be the winner of the final brotherly love here at the laboratory in Hatboro, PA. I'm not going to lie, bro. This, that actually might be a good idea because then we can get home to that fresh plate of barbecue early already. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but we already started barbecue. Fourth of July is next year, next week. Nah, bro. It's this week coming up. This Thursday. Or Wednesday. Favorite cookout side dish. Yeah, go. But... That's right. Oh, me? Potato yeah. salad. Stop playing with me. All I care about is the ribs. Mac and cheese, baby. Oh. I, I got... I, I Can't think, argue I with think that. Six, That's I think 6WX has ribs right now for Jen. Oh, my God. Never mind. The joke is on 6WX. He was not getting caught up with that one. He was not allowing that sauce to be any tangy than it was at that you moment. You heard him? He said, wait, 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 wait. wait. Somebody talking about food? Oh, wait. No, let's go. <laughs> let's get this man out of here, yo. All right, huh. double side smash, trying to catch him on the wake up. Don't blame him for that, especially with how safe uh. Sonic side smash is. Wake up punish. If he lands it up here, that's it. But no, he does miss it. I think Jen is going to have to start dodging his time, mm. changing his timing a little bit because I'm every single time 6 X has avoided the up air. He has to stall and wait for the air dodge. Mm. Fight that. Learn from your master, he said. Game point, tournament point right now for 6WX. That might be it, PK. I, I got to say, I mean, with all of the, the pressure that he's been putting on Gen, I think this might be the end of the road here. But I'm not going to count out Gen too early, and I'm going to stop butchering his name. But for, <laughs> what is she doing? Was she just leaning back on the ledge? What is she doing? I've never seen did, that did before. Did she really just post up and say, draw me like your French girls? Bruh. That was that, that YouTube stuff where they were sitting there on top of buildings and stuff. Don't you know you could fall? Oh, that's, that's <laughs> well, uh, parkour? Yeah, it's like, wait. Parkour! That kids need to sit down. Well, right now, Sonic is showing Bayonetta some high-risk maneuvers. Ooh. And she said, I got one right back. Right in the back of his face with the chanclata. Oh, I, am, I am not out of here yet. Right now, we have game point for Jen. Uh -oh. Really trying to survive to make uh -oh. sure he stays in this tournament. 6WX oh. still is one oh. stock away from winning. Up air. Really love Can, the we get end. The other Can we get one more? Oh, back air. Is he about to send us home? Spike him? No? All right. Back in the stage. Going to run neutral. All right. Quickly runs through him with the spin dash. 
And right now he's just putting oh, it back Oh, wow. Forth. Just catches him with the follow-up from the heel slide. Really, really close. He could have actually gotten an up smash for uh, punish after that heel slide. It looked like he was just out of range. But again, coming right back. And you already know what Bayonetta shenanigans are for. Is he going to carry him off stage? Not sure. 6WX right now is really baiting for that right moment. I mean, he's taking his damage and he's trying to evade, but he's just looking for that right moment to really damage him. But while he's waiting, Jen is quickly racking up that damage. Jen. Almost taking the lead in damage. Having none of it. Oh, wow. Almost gets the trade and aerial momentum. This Both of them just like playing around the it's up the smash. And that's that. The random. That's that. The solid. The chip stain finger. The clincher. The up smash from Sonic. It's what Cass. Philly's own 6WX taking home the title of Brotherly Love's final so champion over winning the, nine, nine, the end. 2000. Hey, wow. Good job for everybody who came out today. Thank you guys for having me on commentary. Appreciate it. PK Sparks on the mic here doing this thing. And um, bless. Stu, what? Stu the announcer. Stu. Stu the announcer. My man We're, Stu. My man's already Take calling us to the hook, I'm, Stu. I'm trying to talk about that. I'm trying to talk about what we just saw. 6 w -X is full control over that match. It's Drake Knight, nice, dude. Take me to the hook. I'm going to let you guys rock that out. You do your thing, man. I got to go, bro. Do your but thing. But this was what a crazy match. PK. All right, bro. I'll Pleasure. catch you later. Stu. Well, I'm still with, with you slides. guys. And that final match just ended up so, I mean, 6 w -X just had a lot of control. That first game happened to a point where, I mean, first of all, that, that ledge attack, that was just a... Uh, that, that, that was weird. It was, yeah. you know, you know 6 X wasn't expecting that. He was just doing a get-up option. But he ended up catching him because the witch attack, oh, I'm sorry, witch twist yeah. ended up sharking over the ledge, causing a spike, and just sent her straight down. No one was prepared for that. Absolutely. And the thing is that 6WX has learned to let the game come to him at times because he has so much practice playing Juice, who, let's face it, when, he's, uh, when he comes out, he comes out like a bull out of the gate. It's very aggressive, and he had to learn to overcome that. So what does he do? Sits back, lets him make lets him make mistakes, goads him goads him into them, and then he attacks. And obviously, he learned how to di out of that rocket kick if he wanted to beat uh, Juice. So he obviously learned how to di out of that witch twist. He adapts. It's adapt or die in Smash Brothers. And six W X six W X. He adapted, and now he sits here, your brotherly love champion. He held that control so much. I mean, he did lose control in the second game, and that was more of an issue of, all right, Jim was just showing off, but we've seen this before. That was the second time where 6WX um, took a 2-0 loss and reversed it 3-0 because he adapted to his opponent. In this case, he had the pleasure of watching Jim versus Juice. Yeah, <laughs> going I do off, love Going that. off in the losers' finals, and... On what is it, studying how he played. So when he had to deal with them, well, first of all, he already beat a Bayonetta. Yeah. So I, I really found that change from Jen to be interesting that he chose to go to Bayonetta from Ryu. Maybe he was just tired of Ryu, or maybe he doesn't like the matchup signing with Ryu at all. He, he must have just not liked the matchup. I don't know what else it could be. Maybe yeah. he's just not used to playing Sonics. Possibly, but regardless, um, he did make that play, and I really think that Bayonetta was just a really um, comfortable a character for 6WX. You saw, we saw it earlier, we saw it again. He had control, he, um, he, he played around his opponent, he played around Bayonetta, and when it came down to it, I mean, they, he tried to get him with the shenanigan with the spring at the end, but it just was not enough. And PK, I mean, I'm sure that we have, there's so many things to be said about this tournament, but honestly, I don't know what I could say that the man coming up uh, right now uh, couldn't say by himself. And I'm talking about, who else could I be talking about? He's considered the best Sonic in North America. He's considered, if not the world. He is called, he's the number two currently in Philadelphia. I'm sure something uh, something will have to be said about that coming up in this tournament. Yeah, that tournament. PR kind of says something else. But folks, what else could I say that this man cannot? Folks, he is your brotherly love champion for June 2018. The end. The it end. is the one, the only, 6WX. Take a bow, young man. Everyone clap it up. Fantastic play for 6WX, man. How you doing, man? How are you doing, 6? What, what's the thoughts in your mind right now? Well, first of all, congrats on the win. Congratulations on the win. You went through hell. I'm just going to say, you went through hell in those top eight matches to get there. Um, you having to face... Uh, having to face Juice, the number one player in Philadelphia, the man who took yeah. your C spot, put I him know. down in losers finals. I know, I know. And then having to, um, after Juice lost in losers finals, facing the man from New York, defending the, the soul life in Philadelphia, Jen. Let's talk about winners finals first. 
That right. matchup with Juice, how are you feeling? Whew. I felt like very focused. I, I was basically thinking to myself, all right, I know Juice can just kill me. So I'm, I'm going to do my best to watch for every kind of grab and pay attention to what he's doing. In the, in the first set, I kind of noticed he was jumping around a lot, but I wasn't able to do anything about it. Or in the first game, rather. And as the set went on, I kind of just kept trying to pay attention, see where my openings were, try to hold it down. And after losing the second game, though, at that point I was like, all right, I need to, I'm getting hit way too much. I need to, like, lock down. And that's just what I tried to do, lock down and not give him anything at all. Right. And it kind of helped, I guess. Kind of helped? I mean, yeah. you did, move, I, I you did move up I, and win the yes. finals. Yes, yes. Kind of kind of. One thing we noticed is that um, both in your semifinals match and your finals match, um, you were down 2-0. And then yeah. quickly, um, we were saying you were running the reverse on them. Like, both yeah. times you were down and you ran that reverse 3 -0. What was it that adjusted in between game one and two into game three to five? Well, when it came to the gen set, I feel like it was just small mistakes that made me lose in the beginning. And then the second game, I think I SD'd at 50 or something like that. So I thought to myself, all right, this is Bayonetta. I need to not. And honestly, it's, it's kind of the same with Bayo and ZSS. So in both time, yeah, both sets, what really changed was just... I just feel like I had enough time to figure out what I needed to do and figure out where I can be safe, where I can't be. And and then I just acted on that. I tried to just almost bully them for doing some of the same things that they keep doing. And yeah, yeah we think. noticed we noticed that, um, especially in that first match in, in Grand Finals. Let's talk about that because I saw the look on your face and his face as well. That witch twist, he went, he you caught him with the ledge attack from his witch twist, sharking yeah. over the stage. In that moment, yeah. just how were you processing that? Well, I just said, let me get up attack, and hopefully it hit him, and it did. Because <laughs> I know get up attack has that really ridiculous stage spike that everyone dies to so right and he didn't have a double jump so i was like yes and okay yeah i, I basically just said he's going to up b here so i'm going to press a button and maybe it'll hit like honestly i didn't know 100 percent that that was going to hit so you you weren't intending or even t trying to hit him from uh from a shark and you were just like let me put this hip back no. out there best yeah, case you, scenario you mean the get up attack right right yeah yeah, it was. Oh, you mean before? Yeah, I'm talking about like oh. you know, the first match, first game. Yeah. When y'all were both on the ledge. Yeah, you before did the, the get up attack. Before the let up, where I was shark like chasing him off stage. Yes. Yeah, I was kind of just trying to bother him and make sure he doesn't feel like he can breathe. I, I just wanted to push. I don't. I don't know if it's like push the panic on him or, but I guess that's just the pace of play that I play. And I recently decided. I should just try to play my way, and my way is usually the you're not allowed to breathe, I'm going to keep attacking, you're never safe kind of way. And, okay. I, and that was just part of that, where I just want to make sure he didn't even feel safe recovering. And it turned out to be true. So, I mean, it definitely worked yeah. out and got you the right out to out over there. Um, the last question I have for you was yeah. the one option that you didn't really employ in most of your matches. You did it once earlier, that's security the game, and you did it to finish out and close out the tournament for yourself. That up smash. Yes. What? How? If you don't mind sharing for the art folks at home, um, what is your thought process with the up smash? Because you don't employ it often. So right. when do you find it appropriate to use that? Well, honestly, I find it very appropriate against Bayonetta. Okay. I don't. I guess. Because there's so many, it's so limited for me to be able to kill the, that character that I feel like in in those situations where I used it, I just tried to bait. I just ran at him and baited a dash grab or something. And once I saw it, I immediately jumped on him. Or if I, ch or if I see that Bayonetta has to land in some area and they probably don't, I don't think they're going to witch time, then I'll just do it. Like if, I, if they waste a couple of their witch times already, I know... They're likely not going to use it because it won't be much value anyway right. after spamming it two, at least two times. So that's usually the, the marker where I'm like, okay, now I can go in for things. And the up smash, it was really just, I just wanted to up smash Bayonetta. Like, at, at this point, it's when I see that character, I just want to hit her with that up smash. Because okay. there was, I guess it's partially because of times in the past where I saw an up smash opportunity against Salem actually one time. 
and like I knew where he was going to land, and I didn't do the up smash. Even though it could have won me that game where I was down, I was like 150 rage, he was at 80, and I was like, this up smash will kill, but he might read it. And he just air dodged, and I just got a free grab, and I'm like, that was the game, man. And ever since then, I felt, all right, I need to be more bold with these. And I guess whenever I see Bale, that's kind of why you'll see it more against that character. Okay, so that's, a, that's an option you choose in the matchup versus yeah. Bayonetta. Also, it's also because I feel like it's safe to do against Bale because I, I, I guess you could say I'm confident that she won't fall out of it or something randomly. Like, okay. her frame's kind of big-ish, weirdly. Yeah. A character like ZSS... I, I will do it sometimes, too, but I don't usually think about doing risky things because I feel like ZSS, her tiny frame, she just sometimes falls out of stuff. I don't think she'll fall out of up smash, usually, but there have been times, I think, where I hit with the outer edge of up smash and she just kind of popped to the side just because she was too skinny. So right. I think I just naturally was afraid of having that happen. So Okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Uh, what is it? So, I mean, that's all of my questions I have. If, you, if there's anything else you want to say or anyone you need to shout out, mm. this is your platform. Do it. Do the thing. <sighs> well, my bro, I, of course, shout outs to Uno. Us winning the doubles again. Oh, yeah, so you're a two-time Bully Love champ. Look oh, at yeah. you. Yes, yes. That, cr that crown is positioned properly. Oof. Indeed. And I would like to... Have shout outs to my mother, my father, for always being supportive. My father even texted me in the middle of this term. I'm like, I'm in grand finals right now. And and my very good friend, and hmm, is he worth being called a rival? Well, PK whatever. PK Spark. Oh, my God. Oh, he oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah, well PK is He awesome said too. rival. Hey, oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I ain't that, but I'm a good guy. PK is actually I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm all right. I'll You're give awesome. you that. I'll give hey, you that. But Sonic's <laughs> speed. What's his name again? Chuck Charles. Charme yeah, Sonic's. Sonic's the the Sonic who keeps copying me like he's Metal Sonic, trying to steal all my moves and always there to yell at me. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if he's in the chat right now. I mean, if you're in right. the chat, man, say hello. <laughs> you're being called out right now. <laughs> called a clone. He said you yeah. can be an overlord, you still get put down. Yep. Through the power of friendship. <laughs> What's the problem? What's Man. Good? All right, y'all. So that oh, is yeah. going he, to end he, off um, brotherly love. He sixes his Echo oh, Fighter. I, also. <laughs> 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 oh, shoot. I just want to say I love Philly. All you guys. Thank you. You guys make things hype, mm -hmm. make things fun. And I'm glad I could come out for this. You know what? You, you could not have That's the best way to end it off. We love Philly. 215 hype. You right. And 484. And 267. And, and we got a new one, 445. Did you hear about that? Oh. Nope. We got a new one did a couple months ago. That's weird. It is weird. Is All weird. right. All right, y'all. So that is going to conclude Brotherly Love, the end. Is there anything else we need to know? Or? Huh? Right, guys. Yeah, the crew battle. I see you. A crew battle? Oh, yes. Oh, oh shoot. Gosh. Oh, yo, yo. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The oh, my gosh. Yeah, the Blazing crew battle. Pasta versus oh, well, the swap tour. Let's go. It's Dude, finally absolutely. happening. 